Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. During Hilmiya time from 1950 to 1963, I was also affected by uh, the surrounding of the atmosphere and the culture of the city and the culture of the country at that time. And this is a lesson to all of you parents actually to see what will impact the growing character of your young children. Some of them are actually were actually movie stars. Because we used to have an excellent and top movie stars in Egypt at the time. I will just mention a few of them. I don't think every one of you will know them, but actually those people were such top, top movie stars, like what we used to see uh, in the American movies in the 50s and 40s, in the British movies in the 50s and 40s, like actually, and in the 60s, even the drama, and actually how people loved the profession of acting acting in front of the camera so they produced a, a great uh, uh, movies which are still enjoying uh, uh, them nowadays I can't remember a lot of them by Scrooge and uh, uh, Tale of Two Cities and uh, uh, Oliver Twist and others in English but in, in Arabic the, the names of the uh, artists I'm not sure if you'll be able to know all of them but I just mentioned and uh, some of them, Mohsin Sarhan, Amin Rezli, Fardus Muhammad, and other people. Those people, when they act uh, from their heart, because they used to live the character while they are in front of the camera, they impacted me positively and negatively, understand the difference between the good man and the bad man, the evil and the goodness, and the kindness and the love and the care and all those sort of things. Uh, singers. Singers, Egypt at that time has to a plethora of top singers. You might all, you might, most of you might know somebody like called Muhammad Abdul Rahab, Umm Kalthoum, Farid Al Atrash, Abdul Halim Hafiz, uh, Muhammad Rushdie, Muhammad Abdul. People nowadays, especially Fairuz, which is still uh, alive, Faiz Ahmad, Wadi uh, Safi from Lebanon, Fahd Balam from Lebanon, uh, Nagah Salam from Lebanon, uh, uh, Walid Al Jazeera from uh, Algeria, and so on and so. But at that time, the strength, the strength of the voice or the vocal cord of the singer make him a top uh, singer. That they used to know how to, how to uh, recite poetry, how to understand the, 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 the levels of music and the different uh, music that they can uh, sing because they were singing from their heart. They loved the poetry, they loved the music and they loved to, to meet the people and let them to enjoy the singing. Many of them, many of them, unfortunately, we don't have some of this nowadays. Composers, actually, like uh, uh, Muhammad Abdul Wahab also, Farid Atrash, Kamal Tawir, Red Sumbati, and Mughal al -Azab. This They made, they, they wrote, they wrote an excellent pieces of music for the singers to sing uh, at that time. And that's why whenever we use to listen to these songs or to those songs nowadays, we go back with love and care and emotion to the good old days. Even the authors and the writers, such as Ta Hussein is an international figure, Najib Mahfouz, who was a, a Nobel Peace Prize winner, Ihsan Abdul Quddus, Abbas Aqad, a great, a great, a great, a great uh, uh, author, and uh, as well as Tafir Hakim, Yusuf Sabanis, Yusuf this. When you read their books, whether it's a novel or a, or, a, or, a, or a drama or whatever you call it, you live. You live, you live through the way they wrote and the metaphor and the wealth of the knowledge in how to understand uh, Arabic language and how to imagine the scenes and the, and the scenario and the dialogue between people in the drama, you find it's not there anymore, unfortunately. Uh, people who recite Quran, reciters, Qari, I think most of you will know what the names, what I'm mentioning it, Sheikh Al Husari, Rahmatullah Ali, Sheikh Muhammad Rifat, Rahmatullah Ali, Sheikh Sharabasi, Sheikh Abbas Abdul Samad, Sheikh Al Minshawi, Sheikh Al Banna, Sheikh Mustafa Ismail, and Sheikh Shaisha uh, uh, as well. And as many as many. And when you look at all those, even when they recite Quran, they can imagine the scenes inside the verses of the Quran within in heaven, or in fire, on the goodness and the good news and the bad news to come to the evil people in this. They, they live the Quran when they recite the Quran. That's why we cannot forget the way they used to recite the Quran. Uh, uh, presenters on television, I don't think you know most of them, but actually they used to understand the Arabic language and the phonation of the Arabic language. 
and how to attract you to them when they are actually talking to you through the radio, through the television, or through any other means in the, in the recording at that time. There was no recording at the time. Uh, the theater as well, the theater was, was uh, great uh, actors and uh, directors and uh, people there. And people used to sit down and enjoy in politeness. When people use uh, in, the, in the theater, nobody talks while uh, the theater, uh, the, 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 the act is playing by actually the, 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 the artists. Even football. The quality of the game, the people, their manner, their relationship, because each football player loved to play football at that time. They were not coming for the money. There was no professional, something called professional football players. Everyone and and for and for the club to discover the talented, the young talented football player from the countryside, they have to travel the country and go to the small areas at the backyard of, of Cairo to see those young players who used to play the sock, uh, uh, the sock, the sock, the sock football uh, uh, at that time. I, I, if even I mention the names, I don't think you will, you will know uh, uh, them. Uh, the, the scholars, uh, some of them might, some of you might know some of them nowadays, like Sheikh Sharawi, Rahmatullah Ali, Sheikh Abdul Hamid Kish. Uh, Sheikh Al Ghazali, Sheikh Shartout, Sheikh Muhammad Bakhuri, Sheikh Muhammad Madri, Dr. Abbas Kamil, and others. When we look at all them, we find that those people uh, very well learned, learned, very well educated, uh, very well uh, people who are actually uh, have got a high level of ability to understand the community and to reflect and to the community and see what were the needs of the community at that time, whether actually on the drama or the cinema or in the singing or in the music or in actually uh, uh, recitation of the Quran and writing the novels and others. Well, I feel sorry nowadays because of the advancement of technology that actually this, this kind of music, this kind of uh, movies become very technical, no spirit in it. That's why uh, our children and grandchildren are much deprived from the real taste of art inside the profession that actually they are listening, they are watching, or they are actually talking about. Uh, that's why I was very much affected by these kind of incredible individuals at my childhood. Thank you very much uh, for uh, watching the video, and if you like it, please share it with your actually uh, friends and colleagues. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.